John Cena has been making a lot of news lately uh, based on his return, but he's also been doing a lot of press, and he had this to say about a certain champion of WWE, Russell Pierce at Russell Pierce, quoting John Cena, he has done it better than anybody I have ever seen. He's the greatest of all time, in my opinion. That is John Cena on Roman Reigns on his interview on After the Bell. Putty, John Cena has often been referred to as the Babe Ruth by Vince McMahon himself of WWE, of professional wrestling. Now, John Cena is kind of passing that torch to Roman Reigns with these comments here. So who is it, in your opinion? Who is the best to do it? Is it John Cena or is it Roman Reigns? Sean Michaels. <laughs> well, comparing, to, comparing these two, it's hard to say who the greatest of all time is when you two current people when the careers aren't over yet. True. It's hard well, to call one, Derek one, one, one we're getting to. Yeah. Okay. It's hard, Go on. It's hard to call Derek, Derek Jeter the greatest shortstop of all time until he retired. Mm -hmm. That's coming from Mets fan, but whatever. I don't. It's the card is really stacked in favor of John Cena. How can you compare the two? Like John Cena, 16-time world champion, 20-something-plus-year career, and showed up every week, showed up every month. There was no asterisk next to his name, like there is with Barry Bonds, for some point reason. Roman Reigns is dominant. He's been built to be dominant. Great storyline, great people around him. Hasn't won too many matches cleanly. Barely shows up. This is, we're not going to see Roman Reigns until, what, Survivor, uh, Royal Rumble now? So, of course, he has, what do you think, 1,200 days as champion, but yet we're going to not see him for 90 days? John Cena hands down. Wow. Wow. I don't so Roman you... fan. I'm wearing his merch right now. I'm, I love Roman Reigns. I love what he's doing. Right. But it's just the fact that John Cena was more consistent. And Roman Reigns was in the beginning. But it's just John Cena showed up week in and week out. 16-time champion. Again, there's 1,200 days. But when you go 90 days between championship defenses, it's – Easy to rack up that numbers. So would you say Roman Reigns is the Barry Bonds if you're comparing to baseball then? I guess if you want to make a, a comparison. I like Barry Bonds. I don't think there should be an asterisk next to his name. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. I think if he's not, it's a disgrace to the Hall of Fame. Shout out to Barry Bonds. Um, but yeah, I guess so. Because there's an asterisk that he doesn't defend it. He's, again, taking three months off. Okay. Then you're going to rack up easily 1,500 days and have two title defenses? Impressive. Okay. Great. Thanks. From what I understand, what? Bruno San Martino is a huge fly in my house. Bruno San Martino did it. He was defending it week in and week out at MSG or the, the circuits. And this is no disrespect to Cole Roman Reigns. But if I had to compare it to the two, my man John Cena easily. Has anyone ever said why Roman Reigns? It's not defending as much because it's not no. like it's an age thing. The one thing that keeps circling back in my mind here, and you bring up great points about John Cena. It's, it's hard to debate that. You mean 16 time world champion. You talked about all the accolades that he's done in professional wrestling, but yeah, was, you also didn't talk about what he's done outside of professional wrestling for the business, you know, as far as like the make a wish foundation alone for the stuff you he's done there. with that. You can stop right you there. Just, right. Right. Uh, which is absolutely amazing. You know, you love or hate his character, but as a man, as a person, you got to respect that. Uh, what he's doing for Hollywood. Uh, yeah, I know his last movie uh, is getting horrible, horrible reviews. Not going to talk about it. But like, yeah. And you, he's yeah, going, you want to? I, I, I can't talk about it. I literally can't talk about it. <laughs> I can't even mention a name. <laughs> but, um, you know, going to rock route. But still, like, you know, that brings eyes to WWE. The one thing Roman Reigns could say that he is done, that John Cena can't, and hopefully never will, is that Roman Reigns beat cancer. Okay, you know, well, he, okay, but it's true, it's true. The, the the man, why did he disappear right for so long? Because he was dealing his his leukemia came back into, uh, you know, came back from remission. Excuse me, I was losing my words there. Um, he beat that, came back, and was better than ever, right? No one's really saying like why he's been taking these breaks. Is it because of that? Is it because they want to preserve him? Because you know, battling leukemia takes a shitload out of you. Yeah, I can't 
say anything to that subject. It was been three years ago, though. I've not heard anything that is any correlation to back that up. But then I also heard nothing that they, uh, negates that either. Again, they're not saying anything. I've not heard they're, any reason. They're not saying that. And, and I'm not saying that. that I'm not I'm off. not. I'm not accusing uh, of anything that, you know, or, or you start a rumor that his leukemia might be coming back, whatever. No, it, it, he took that time off and it wasn't, if you think about it, for what he was dealing with, it wasn't honestly a very lengthy time off. You know, like it, it, he, he was dealing with that shit. He was, he, he was dealing with it and thankfully he overcame it. But how much of a toll did that take from him is what I'm saying. And like, did that necessarily take years off his career? To do so, Can answer that. that's what I wonder. Maybe and, it's possible. And you know, if, if uh, you know a medical expert is listening to our show or watching our show, I, I would love to hear more about that. Um, of, as far as like how that recovery would factor into this, but like there, there's got to be reason because Roman Reigns is not that old. You know, like, no, he's not. For, him, for him to take so much time off uh, makes me wonder what is going on there with that. Um, or is it just from a business aspect as far as like, hey, the more time he's away, the longer the days add up for him to break another milestone here? Could it be that aspect? Which is kind of cheap. But that's not Roman Reigns' fault. The feeling that I have is that every, anybody that's put in front of Roman Reigns for the last 1,200 plus days, he beats. Having him show up week in and week out, month in and month out, PLE after PLE, and dominating everybody, it's going to get stale. So, and plus, he's, he's going to beat everybody. Okay, let, let me beat Kevin Owens for the fourth time in 13 months. So these breaks, I think, are meant to, um, I beat everybody. I don't need to be here week in and week out. Keep the character fresh. That's what I originally was thinking. But when you bring up this whole physicality thing, maybe, I don't know. I'm honestly not too sure. I I, I do wonder these things. Uh, I've been wondering that for a bit. I just never vocalized it. But, you know, like, I know a lot of people think it's stale right now. I, for one, I'm, and I don't even know if I'm in the minority, really. It just seems like it's a 50-50 split as far as people who think it's stale and people who think it's not stale. You know, I don't necessarily believe that they're in the third inning here, as Paul Heyman would say. I, I do feel like they're a little further along. But like well, it's it, bottom of the seventh, right? It's somewhere around there. I think that's a good gauge, um, because it's still entertaining. They're still finding ways to keep it fresh, and now you have rumors of another cousin possibly coming in, uh, who just requested this release from MLW. So I mean, different ways here to go. We'll see how also, that goes. The point where we talk about too is like whoever beats him now is going to catapult them into the stratosphere. So they got to find the right person to beat him. Maybe right. they find the right person yet. Or who needs it? And by the way, like, you know, just because he loses doesn't necessarily mean his career is over. You know, there's still left. This Well, I, I would hope that there's still more left to go for Roman Reigns. So um, as you said, I mean, like, you know, they're, they're both technically active. I think one's on their way out sooner than the other. Uh, but like, yeah, you I guess you would have to give the edge to John Cena for a little bit for all the things that we discussed and then some. But Roman Reigns, I mean, he if John Cena is 1A, then Roman Reigns is 1B right there. I'm kind of actually more interested and intrigued on Roman Reigns, the character, after he loses. What happens next? What, he, what does he do next? I'm actually interested to watch that more uh, as it, time it, goes on. It, it could be a la, like, you know, for our BCW faithful here that, that listen to us, kind of like when Darius Carter lost his championship. You know, that, to me, became more interesting as far as him chasing the title again and became more dangerous. Yeah.